Have you previously played King's Quest V? Hello everyone, welcome back to King's Quest V. Get back to your game here. So, somehow, well I got the day off today, but somehow I am home alone and able to do this. Usually I'm only home alone on Mondays, so I was going to try to get this in while everybody's gone and not running around making a bunch of noise. <clears throat> so, I believe we are just about to go into this forest here. Um, let's see if I remember how to do this correctly. So, we got the amulet from Metamushka, the gypsy in the, the wagon by the desert. So, we have to put that on before you go in there. You have to. You also have to have this lamp from the desert temple. You have to have <clears throat> this honey here. I think that's all you have to have before you go in there. But if you don't, <coughs> sorry, if you don't have any of that, you will not make it out. If you go in, if you turn around, you cannot come back the same way you came in. So, all right, here we go. Put this on. The magic amulet begins to glow softly as Graham slips it over his head. He then carefully tucks the amulet into the front of his tunic, hiding it from sight. Sorry, let me do this real quick. I think the game volume is super loud. You should still be able to hear it just fine. The sign seems self-explanatory enough. Enter at your own risk. My own risk. All right, here we go. We're risking. Ooh, no! Ooh, I'm not going in there! Can't you read the sign? Come on, Cedric. There might be something important in here. Go if you want to. I'll wait here. Fine. All right, got the amulet on. <clears throat> I think uh, it doesn't matter which way you go, but if you, I think if you go to the right, then you have to come back around to get to where you want to go. So I'm gonna try to go left this time. So <clears throat> sometime here, Wait, stop, stop. It seems to Graham that there is an unusually large number of toads in this forest. So. Eventually, we should have the witch come up here and try to kill us. Okay. Should be. Damn. To Graham's great relief, it appears that the witch's magic has been stopped by the amulet he is wearing. Just as Madame Mushka said it would. Haha. <laughs> So now, we need to get out this lamp, take it over, give it to her. What's this? Ah, oh, freedom at last! Now you spend the next 500 years in a bottle. Good. That old witch won't be seen here for a long time. But now, how to get out of this dreadful forest? Gotcha, bitch. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I think you have to go in here first anyway, so... So let's... Uh, let's just go in here. This is a witch's house. So... Just... A small, intricate spinning wheel is put away in the trunk. I'll take that. Reaching a hand into the trunk, Graham retrieves the small spinning wheel. Alright. What's this? Why, it's a little key. And this drawer. A small leather pouch is tucked away in the drawer. Take that too. Graham reaches the drawer and removes the leather pouch. I believe that's all you can do in here. Alright, let's get out of here. If this goes on a little long, I apologize. I forgot to start my timer. I have no... I can't even see the clock on my screen, so... Um, I'm going to just try to guess how long I was going or before I started the timer, so... Try not to make this like an hour long or something, forget what I'm doing. 
All right. I did not come this way last time. Let's go this way. Okay, if you come in the forest, you go to the right. This is the way you go first. Or, this is the green you come to first if you go right. So if you can't go that way, let's go up here. A small door built into the trunk of a large twisted tree catches Graham's attention. Graham tugs firmly on the door in the tree, but finds it securely locked. Locked? Good thing we just picked up a key. Graham finds that the little key fits perfectly in this lock. Graham is charmed to find a little golden heart inside the door of the twisted old tree. Yay! Guess where that goes. Reaching into the little door of the tree, Graham extracts the little golden heart. If you can't guess, I'll show you in a little bit. Alright, so we got the golden heart and we got the spinning wheel. Alright, that's that's all you can get here. Oops. So let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. I hope this uh, my voice audio quality is better this time I'm using a different mic. It's still a cheap shitty one, but uh, when I was trying to do some tests on it to see how it sounded, it sounded much, much better. So um, I'm just going to do this, record this whole one this way. Hopefully it's, hopefully it works out. Okay, so you can't go back out the beginning because it just loops you back around. Um, a large rock-like creature blocks further passage to the west. See, like, I know what to do, but I don't know how you figure out what Strange to do. plants and animals inhabit this dark and dreary place, while thin rays of sunlight barely break the surface of the forest's thick foliage. And I just know, because I played this so many times when I was younger, <clears throat> and I played through it just a little bit before I started doing these videos, but I don't know how you figure this out if you don't know how to do it, because I, I honestly don't think that we think this way anymore, the way that we used to when these games came out in 1992. So, take the honey, squeeze Graham it on the ground. Graham the honeycomb as hard as he can, which causes the honey to drip out of it onto the ground, creating a sticky little puddle at his feet. Now all that's left of the honeycomb is a piece of beeswax, which Graham puts back in his pocket. Alright, so we got honey on the ground. <clears throat> now you take this pouch that you found in the witch's house. Upon open opening the leather pouch, Graham discovers three sparkling emeralds. Okay. Now we're going to take those. Oops. Stop it. Put it on the honey. I don't know why he throws it over there first. Okay, try again. Mm, closer. And one left, better get him. There you go. <clears throat> Leave! Let me go! I beg of you! Why should I do that? What will you do for me? I'll show you the way out of the forest. If you let me go. How do I know I can trust you? I give you my word. An elf never breaks his word. Yeah, right. Well, it's against my better judgment, but okay. Move over, Rocky. You're in our way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Awesome. All right, follow the elf. I think. <clears throat> follow me in here. There's nothing you can get. I believe I don't. I don't believe there's anything in any of these. <clears throat> and then when you go in there, you can't explore anyway. Warning. So this cartoon contains material that yep, may yep, be necessary. Yep. Yep. Watch it. I always thought that, that this was super awesome when I was, I don't know, 
when I was five, seven. You can see the bones in the ground. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Hey! Over here! I've got something for you! Yeah, he just walks over there by himself. He can't can't go anywhere else in this place. I never take anything without giving in return. For your generosity in giving me those exquisite emeralds, I give you my finest pair of shoes. May they help you in your quest. I don't think they'll fit me. Follow that passage over there. It's the way out of the dark forest. Thank you very much for all your help. I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for these fine shoes. You know, it'd be funny as if when he came through there, I could cut to some kind of Minecraft scene that was made to look just like this, but... And then as soon as he goes in the hole, cut back to it. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, I made it out. Hey, Cedric. Oh, I'm glad to see you're okay. I was beginning to worry. You were right not to want to venture in that dark forest, Cedric. I thought I'd never get out of there alive. Okay, um... Well, first off, since we're right here, I know we got the heart. Just give it to her right away. Get that done. My heart! Wait, what? I don't need this old thing anymore. Look at me, I'm a princess again. She looks, Herbert! She looks so Alicia. So is he. He just happens to be with an earshot when she turns back. Where have you been all this time, my love? Oh, darling. Just take me home. I'll tell you on the way. Take me home and make love to me. All right, I'll take that. Now, why would she toss aside this beautiful harp? Well, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. Okay, we did that. We also... Where am I at? Where am I at? Um... We also got the spinning wheel, which I don't think I went through all the dialogue with these guys, but you want this marionette here. Get the spinning wheel. Give it to him. Where did you get this? I thought I had lost it. Oh, is it yours? I found it in the old witch's house in the dark forest. So that's where it got to. The old hag took it, eh? You know, this ain't an ordinary spinning wheel. It's not? Well, what's so special about it? Why, this spinning wheel can spin Draw into gold, that's what. Except, you've got to know who to use it. I don't even the witch could figure that out. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Now wait, not so fast. How about that marionette? Don't you think the price of the spinning wheel is worth at least twice that of the puppet? I'd love to have it. Yeah, I guess so. Boy, give that marionette to the man here. I'll make you a new one. Come on, boy. Let's gather up some wood for a new puppet. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we all have here. So, got the golden needle that came from the haystack. The ants found it. I have the marionette. I have the shoes. I don't remember what I used the harp for. Um, so let's go into town. I believe that's where I'm headed, have to go next here. If you remember, I threw this, the shoe from the desert, from the skeleton, at the cat right here and saved that rat. I still have to do that. <clears throat> you go to town first and, and do this stuff and save it, and then I'll go over there. 
because that's one of those things where if you didn't do it right, it's game over because you can't get out of it. But I believe since I saved the rat, then I should be okay. Let's just do this first, so let's go in here. Hey. May I help you, sir? Yes, I found your gold needle. Oop, missed. Missed again. Really? My golden needle! Wherever did you find it? It was in a haystack by the country inn. By the inn? Oh yes, I remember visiting there not long ago. Oh vulgar man that innkeeper. He has no scruples at all. Well, I'm glad to see you've got your golden needle back. I wonder, could you possibly see fit to give me that wonderful cloak in exchange for it? The cloak? Well, why not? It's yours. For the price of a golden needle. Perfect, because that's all I have. Thank you, kind sir. I'm sure it will help me on my travel. I'm sure it will. Good luck. Au revoir. Next. Come on in, look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. I don't know if she said it uh, last time I played it. It was different when you came in here. Uh, the girl uh, says, "Oh, I love this toy. Can I keep it?" He's like, "No, we have to keep. We have to sell it to make money." So she wants a toy. Uh, I guess maybe I just knew that. Maybe it didn't actually say it. I, I just realized that. Um, but that's what you have to do. Oh, did you get this wunderbar marionette? Wunderbar. The craftsmanship is excellent. Well, I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. I must have it. Can I buy it from you? Actually, you may have it if you'll give me the sled in trade. Why, of course! But I must tell you, I think I'm getting the better deal. I, I can always make another sled, but finding another marionette of this quality... Ich weiß nicht! So, can I have the sled? Yeah, yeah, take it, it's yours! Thank you very much. I think I'll find this sled very useful. Well, you enjoy it, and danke for the marionette. Alright, one more stop. It's you again, is it? We still don't have any shoes for sale. Well, I happen to have some right here. What have we here? Mama, take those shoes from the young man. Let me see them. These are the finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable, yet sturdy. The craftsmanship of these shoes are superb. And Mama, look at the solid gold buckle. Why, well, I could retire from the sale of these shoes. Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I could find a better use for them. You are a god, says young man. How can we ever repay you? You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Since I'll be retiring, I won't need it anymore. Thanks to you. Why, thank you. A hammer could be very useful on my journey. Take care, young man. We'll never forget this. That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. You'll be in our hearts from now on. Come on, Mama, let's go home. Let's celebrate our good fortune. Alright, <clears throat> there is nothing else in this place. 
I believe. Make sure. Yes. Okay. percent sure I did everything I need to to do before I go in here I, I'm pretty sure but I'm gonna save it real quick bam just that fast all right here we go oh I'll wait for you out here I don't like that place Gentlemen, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Diana's bull ain't got no more rooms. Hey boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. I am. This is where you die. Struggle as he might, Graham could not escape his bonds. Unless you helped the rat earlier. Oh. If you didn't help him, then that doesn't happen. And if you miss it, it doesn't happen again. I told you I'd repay your kindness when you saved me from that horrible cat! Good luck, friend! Thanks, rat. Okay. I didn't get this far the last time I played it, so that is about the end of everything that I am... Graham stoops down and picks up the sturdy rope from the stone floor. ...that I'm recently familiar with. So, <clears throat> from here on out, I'm going to have to go off what I remember playing years ago. Like, a lot of years ago. There's um, nothing of interest inside the old rat hole. But I'll do my best not to waste too much time looking for what I'm supposed to do next. In one corner of the cellar, Graham notices a large rat hole. I'm just I'm afraid I'm missing something. No, nope, that's all that's in here. Um, <clears throat> I did, I do have a proper editing program now, so if I do screw around, taking a lot of time, not, can, can't figure out what to do or something. Um, a rusty padlock securing the door prevents Graham from leaving the cellar. I can now cut it out. Oh yeah. Good thing I just got this here hammer. Bam. Using the cobbler's hammer, Graham pounds on the rusty padlock until it breaks apart. See, I didn't remember that I needed that hammer before I did this, so it's a good thing I went to the town first. I almost didn't. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here without dying. Shit, I should have saved it. That's alright. Um, anything in here? I think there's something we have to get in here. Inside the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. Take that. Yes, I know we need Reaching that. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham pulls out the savory leg of lamb. Is that it? There is nothing else. Okay. Yeah, I think we got to hurry, though. I'm afraid. Um, nothing. Nothing. I don't know which way to go. Um, fuck, is there nothing else? Is there nothing else? Nothing. 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 All right. All right. Let's get out of here. I think we have to go this way. <clears throat> Finding the kitchen door locked, Graham unlocks it before going outside. Yeah, that's the right way. Shit, no, no, what, what if I would have went the other way? That's right, if I die, I know what I have to do. I think, no, this goes out into the inn. Ah, oh, shit. Um. Nope, 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 I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way. Actually, here. Idea. I'm not used to being able to save whenever I want like that with uh, new gen games that auto save. 
I think this goes right back into the bar. Yep, now they're gonna kill me. We gotta plan our next job, you guys. Hey! How did you get out of the cellar? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure I didn't I didn't miss something on the right side there. This time I thought this was out for good. What was gonna happen? That wasn't a very smart move. <laughs> okay. Alright. So I now have the rope, I have the leg of lamb. Uh, to be 100% honest, I'm not sure what to do next other than to go back to the rattlesnake. I don't remember how to get rid of him. I wonder if I can go in the gnome's house. Graham tries to open the small door, but finds it securely locked. Okay. Right. Man, I do not remember how to get rid of this thing. I think, man, uh, I'm just going to guess. Maybe. That won't convince the snake to leave. I think. That won't convince. Shit, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, is it? Oh, that's what it is. That won't convince Shit. the snake to leave. That's not what it is. Let's walk over here first. Having learned to play the harp long ago, Graham now plays beautifully. No? That won't... Damn it. You just hammer it? Bang. That won't con Nope. Um, whoops. Mm. Man, I don't, I don't... Maybe I'm missing something. That won't... In silence, the large serpent eyes Graham menacingly. Damn it, I don't remember what to do. It's not it. Graham gives the wand a good shake, but it only fizzles and dies. Fizzles and dies. Okay. I don't. I just put it in a bag. That won't. <laughs> uh, did I try everything? Uh, yeah, I know it's not the sled. It's not that. That won't. I must have missed something. <laughs> oh, is this it? A tambourine lies on... Ah, oh, that's it! Not seeing the tambourine's owner, Graham bends down and rescues it from the ground. Cool. Uh, I was worried that I forgot something somewhere and I would have, would have missed my chance to get whatever I needed. All right. I'm just going to go do this here real quick. I know this is getting kind of long. I'm trying to... This is going to be the end coming up here. Let's get over there. I don't get many chances to do this when no one's home. Um, so I'm trying to get this in and pretty excited about it <laughs> this is just fun this <clears throat> old game you know from my childhood that for me it's fun and I'm really surprised that it even works anymore okay snake where's it at
Be gone, you slithery varmint! Scat! Haha. <laughs> oh man, I was getting worried that I wasn't gonna figure figure that out fast enough. I was gonna have to go do it on my own and then come back. <laughs> okay. A few hours later. So this is what we've been collecting things for. Like this cloak. If you don't have it, you will die out here. Graham dons his warm cloak for protection against the freezing mountain air. Also, you're going to need the sled, the rope. You need that in that. For some reason, I can't, I can't remember right now. Okay, I'm sorry. This is getting kind of kind of long. I'm going to cut this off right here. And um, I might even... I might even do another one today just because no one's here and this is maybe my only chance to do this. I might be able to do it Monday, but if not, it'll, it's going to be next Monday before I'm going to get to do another one. So, um, yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. Um, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about uh, this mic compared to the last one. I think it's a huge improvement. I'm going to have to go back and watch this video again now that I've actually been playing the game and make sure I'm talking close enough to it or, you know, not getting too far away. Um, also, I have my new editing software, which I'm probably not going to need to use on this. I might cut out a little bit of that when I was wandering around, couldn't figure out what to do with the snake. But, um, yeah, please let me know what you think. Um, if you liked it, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe, and um, thanks for watching. Later.